Yo guys, how's it going? Hope all is well. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we're going to be using FCM23 to predict the next 10 Ballon d'Or winners. Well, if you don't know what a Ballon d'Or award is, I just don't know what to tell you how you're watching football and you don't know what a Ballon d'Or award is. But just to make things clear, a Ballon d'Or award is an award given to the best player of a season. So uh, FIFA has changed it from a best player in the calendar year to the best player of a particular season. So of a particular season, the best player in a season is the Ballon d'Or winner. So that's just basically it. So we are wasting any much of your time. Let's get into the first year. In season one is Erling Brot Holland, the Norwegian who wins the first Ballon d'Or. It's Manchester City winning the Champions League. Villarreal win the Europa League and River Plate win the Copa Libertadores. And for his overall starts, he got 52 goals in 62 games, claiming 10 Man of the Match awards. And given the fact that he won the Champions League with Manchester City, I'd say that that Ballon d'Or was really well deserved. So Holland, off you go with your Ballon d'Or. So going into the second season, these are some of the best players in the game right now. And uh, it's be interesting to see who actually wins this year's Ballon d'Or. And this season is Kai Havertz who takes home the Ballon d'Or. So it's two current Premier League players and two former German Bundesliga players who take home the first two Ballon d'Ors of this experiment. As Tottenham win the Champions League, Europa League goes to Manchester United and Horakan win the Copa Libertadores. And you can obviously see why he was given the Ballon d'Or. Kai Havertz scored 57 goals in 55 games. That's more than a goal per game. So this one's a clear winner for me as Kai Havertz takes home the Ballon d'Or. So off you go Kai. So going into season 3, these are the best players on the database right now and hopefully we can see a completely new player from another league winning the Ballon d'Or. But unfortunately, that's not what happened as Erling Haaland wins the Ballon d'Or once again. But this time he won it with Manchester City's fiercest rivals, Manchester United. Erling Haaland has just joined Manchester United from Manchester City. That is mad. But anyways, he won the Ballon d'Or by scoring 39 goals in 58 games, grabbing 8 Man of the Match awards along the way. And despite the fact that I acknowledge this not numbers are absolutely mad they're insane there there's so many goals in that many appearances um i still feel that a lot of players did better than him and i don't really see that why he was given the ballon d'or this year but who cares he won the ballon d'or so Holland, off you go with your ballon d'or again so hopefully in season four we finally have a ballon d'or winner from outside the premier league and that is not to be the case as Jeremy Doku wins this year's Ballon d'Or as Manchester United win the Champions League, Europa League goes to Napoli and Vélez Sarsfield wins the Copa Libertadores. And I also figured out that it was better to look at player stats from here as Jeremy Doku from midfield managed to get himself 5 assists, 21 goals in 53 games, also get himself 8 Man of the Match awards. Now the question is, did he deserve that? I don't really know because we can see Kai Harvest just ahead of him with 28 assists, 52 goals in 53 games. That's actually over 80 goal contributions in one season with 11 Man of the Match awards. I feel he deserved that. But uh, Jeremy Doku goes home with the Ballon d'Or award. Will we ever have a player from outside the EPL win the Ballon d'Or on the game? I guess we have to wait and find out. And obviously we don't get a player from outside the Premier League as Erling Haaland wins another Ballon d'Or again. I mean that's three Ballon d'Ors in five years. That's crazy. This man is going to be a beast in the future. Anyways, his former club Manchester City win the Champions League once again. Bayern win the Europa League and Copa Libertadores goes to Boca Juniors. And unlike his last Ballon d'Or win, these stats are absolutely crazy. They're so incredible. In 56 games, he managed to get himself 21 assists and 59 goals over one goal per game ratio. That is incredible. And he had 14 Man of the Match awards throughout the season. You just have to take off your hat for this one. Haaland, you are a star. Nothing to see here is just Haaland taking his third Ballon d'Or in five years home. Going into season six, these are the best players from the game right now. And I am hoping that another player from another league wins the Ballon d'Or. That's just what I'm hoping for 
in this season to come and of course we don't get a different player from a different league we get the same player in the same league that's four ballon d'or awards in six years for Erling Haaland now I could have taken off my hat again but I do not have any more hats although he didn't get the most star player awards or man of the match awards he got 15 assists 40 goals in 45 games and that's a really really good return for a striker so once again Erling Haaland takes on the Ballon d'Or into season 7 now and the only thing I want to see is another player from another league to win the Ballon d'Or I'm sick and tired of seeing Haaland winning every time and I really want it to be a bit more diverse so hopefully we see that this season and once again it's Erling Haaland once oh my god I just do not know what's happening he's won I think this is five now out of seven Ballon d'Ors. This is just crazy. I mean, no one is challenging him. And Manchester United win the Champions League, Tottenham win the Europa League, and Sao Paulo win the Copa Libertadores. I just want a new uh, Ballon d'Or winner. And once again, Haaland has another cracking season where he scores a bajillion goals, 59 goals in 57 games, 23 assists. You have to say that is very, very well deserved. Almost comes close to the other season where he had a crazy amount of goals and assists. So another well-deserved uh, Ballon d'Or. 12 men of the matches as well. And uh, you have to say that is well deserved. Get out of here, you rascal. Season 8 now. I am still waiting for Haaland to stop winning everything. So by the way, these are some of the best players on the game right now. And hopefully... Hopefully we have a brand new Ballon d'Or winner and my prayers have been answered kind of because we have a brand new Ballon d'Or winner This Italian wonder kid uh, that always grows to a high overall rating can't seem to pronounce his name So his name is Kurutalo. Um, I'm just gonna call him that Kurutalo. He won this Ballon d'Or and finally we have a brand new Ballon d'Or winner, but there is still a slight little problem and that problem is that he's at Chelsea and he's from the Premier League so we still have every single Ballon d'Or winner until now from the Premier League and whether he deserved this is a center forward played 50 games scored 40 plus goals and gave 19 assists seven man of the match awards not too so shabby and uh, yeah he wins the Ballon d'Or for this season but other players did have a better scoring record and a better assist record better man of the match records but he gets the Ballon d'Or so at least it's a new person and oh his name was actually Kuratolo so Sorry about that, Curatolo. Here's your Ballon d'Or award. In season 9, it was Haaland who took home the Ballon d'Or. Arsenal won the Champions League. Paris Saint-Germain winning the Europa League. Flamengo win the Copa Libertadores. And there is never a dry spell or dry season for Erling Haaland. He scored 40 goals in 53 games, giving him 12 assists. 10 man of the match awards throughout the season. So once again, Erling Haaland has another Ballon d'Or. That's 6 right six in nine six in nine ballon d'or awards that in holland's won now this is incredible so we're into the 10th season the last season of this ballon d'or awards experiment Erin Holland has won six already, so I don't want him to win again. I want a completely new player to win this one, and hopefully we see exactly that. And the last season, we have Kuratolo winning it. He, he won it for a second time in two, three years, so I think he'll be the one winning it from now on, and he wins it again. And unfortunately, we still do not have any other player from any other league winning the Ballon d'Or. Apart from the Premier League, which is really sad. And also, Lyon win the Champions League. Lille win the Europa League. That's a great season for French football. And uh, that is Corinthians winning the Copa Libertadores. And checking on whether he actually deserved this, we have to scroll a long way down to see his name in the Star Player Awards. He got just five man of the match awards. But he did score 42 goals in 47 games giving in 10 assists that is a very very good impute for a striker and whether he did uh, deserve that Ballon d'Or is up for debate so that's Kuratolo winning his second Ballon d'Or in three years so at the end of this experiment we can see that FCM23 actually fancies Haaland to win a lot of Ballon d'Ors in the future as he won six out of the possible ten Kuratolo won wins two and uh, Kai Havertz and Jeremy Doku win one each. And um, yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me what you want me to do down below in the comment section. Masters FC is coming very, very soon. See you guys there and bye.